Hey guys, welcome back to Punishing Grey Raven. In today's video, I just wanted to go through because I finally cleared the campaign on normal mode. I finally got to level 53, which you need for the last chapter, and cleared the last boss. But this boss, and just the general progression of boss difficulty through the campaign, has been fantastic, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I can't go into hard mode yet because uh, I'm level capped by that. I gotta get to 56 before I can do that. But this boss is just insane. It took me probably, I wanna say 30 to 40 retries to finally actually defeat the boss. And like I said, the way it scales is just so fun. I don't know if I can demonstrate that to you from playing it, um, but hopefully I can show you how crazy it is. So obviously this one on the left-hand side, recommended BP 4,400. I'm at 2777 as my main character. My other two are just nowhere. So it is a very tough battle at this high deficit but i like playing the game with this deficit because it makes it more challenging you deal less damage which means you've got to play well for longer and survive for longer um but also you get one shot if you make mistakes so if you get if you make a mistake you're done in this so really satisfying the real little things in the game that this makes you realize and you have to do otherwise you're screwed so i've been thoroughly enjoying this i'm gonna jump in keeping in mind i normally play on mobile i cannot play this game on pc or controller the controls are just suited to mobile in my opinion uh, i spent two hours on the weekend trying to figure out some keyboard mapping for playing on pc i couldn't do it i, <laughs> I just couldn't do it so we are going to be trying to do this on PC, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but let's let's go in. I'm just trying to, you know, <laughs> save the big Fs in chat when I get my ass handed to me. But yeah, it did take me a lot of tries on mobile as well. So, you know, it's tough. It's tough. Unfortunately, I didn't record it. I recorded like my first 10 tries, and then I just ran out of memory, and I stopped trying, so <laughs> I stopped recording. All right, so this guy's crazy. Very, very subtle cues on his, um, visual cues on his abilities, and they happen really quick after the cues, so you gotta be right on top of it. So for this, I'm just gonna run around, because when you're hitting him, it's hard to see his abilities coming. Okay, I, I didn't get the perfect dodge there. Okay, we get that. Can do that, do that. Okay, he's gonna do double hands. There's that one coming in. And now I'm gonna swap character just to give myself a bit of time. I'm gonna do that so she can come out. Get that again. We'll get her out. Don't really need to heal, but you know. And this is, this is how the game was played for me. Just trying to bide my time. We go into that, get those two out. I missed it, I missed it, damn it. No, 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 he got, oh, he got me. And that's what I mean, when you're attacking, it's really hard to see what's going on. There we go, we'll get that into that, get her out, smack him a few times, wait for his ability, get immune with the ult. And, and this is the problem, I, the, the camera on PC, as you can see, like, I, I get into this weird mode where the camera rotates and I can't do anything about it. I, I don't know how to fix that. On mobile, like, I can adjust it with my finger really easily, but on PC, like, the camera traces really, really strange. I don't know why. Wait, let's go into the settings. I'll be back in a sec. I'm going to check the settings and then we'll come back for another attempt. Okay, there's nothing in the settings. I think it might be a little bug where when you swap characters near a wall, it just like detaches the camera and it is really hard to get it to reattach being behind you. Like it should make, like normally it tries to make a straight line, the camera, then you, then the enemy you're targeting. But when you swap characters near a wall, it just like doesn't know what it's doing and it rotates and I cannot deal with it. And that's normally when I die against this guy. So hopefully there's a fix for that or if there's something I'm missing, I don't know, but it's really tough. All right, let's go here. Let him engage. Get that out. I'm gonna swap characters here so I got another perfect dodge. Yep, sweet. Go. Actually, I don't really want to bring Liv out yet. Let's just leave it. Oh, 
Oh no, I bad dodged that. I dodged too early. He's got two different lunging attacks. One he attacks straight away and one he waits. And that was the waiting one. I dodged too soon for it. There we go. Okay, let's do that. Get you out. And this is where... The, see how the camera's going funny? And I don't know how to fix this. Oh, it's fixed. Okay, here we go. No, no, no. And you don't run directly away from him because then you can do the grab thing and the grab thing ruins your day. Ah, damn, I'm dying. Let's get you out. Yeah, I've lost this one. <laughs> oh, he got me with the hand. Oh, that's so badly played. So, like, and that's the cool thing about these bosses. Like I said, I suck on PC. I cannot press the things, and the camera just loses it on me. But that whole system of, like, learning each boss fight is so, so satisfying. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn my camera off. I'm going to try a few times to actually beat him on the PC. If not, I'll try and record it on my phone. If it takes me more than an hour, then you won't see anything after this because it'll obviously be that I cracked the sads and couldn't beat him again at my power level. But anyway, let's jump in and hopefully I've got something for you guys.
So there we go. Finally got it. That took me another about six tries, but I was determined to get it. We leveled up, yada, yada, yada. But that is the final boss. Finally killed him. I did a... You could see at the end there, the camera was just... It, it's like it's an extra challenge. They go, okay, the camera is not going to track anywhere near what you thought it would, and that is going to be how you lose. But we managed to get through it. But incredibly, incredibly fun boss fights in this game. I cannot express this enough. That was just an all-round fun battle. Battle. I honestly think it'd be less fun when you're more powerful because it'd just be a bit too easy. But hoping all the rest of the boss fights, the co-op fights and all that are very similar in this mold where they're actually like a lot of strategy and... I don't know, thinking behind it because it's thoroughly enjoyable. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.